Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an introduction to the concept of systems with and without memory. Systems with or without memory. So first let us look at the definition of systems with memory. It is systems with memory. In this context, the, the definition or the concept of memory is different from the memory on the computers. That is, it is not same as the computer memory. Here the memory means the same thing as the memory, what memory means to human beings. That is, the definition is the output y of t depends on the current input x of t and it also may depend on the previous inputs. That is the inputs in the past. So, in this case, the output is a function or a transformation of the current input and also the previous inputs. In other words, the system processes not only the current input but also the previous inputs. That is, this output is generated by processing current input and also previous inputs. the systems without memory can be defined as follows. That is, the systems without memory basically depend only on the current input. That is, the output y of t is a transformation of the current input. And it does not depend on any of the previous inputs. So, it depends only on the current input. Now, let us look at some examples. Some of the examples of memory less systems or systems without memory are first one is basically the identity system. The identity system that is the output y of t is equal to the input x of t. In this case, the output is exactly equal to the input and it does not depend on the previous inputs. So, it is a memoryless system. Similarly, for the discrete case, y of n is equal to x of n. Another example is a voltage across resistor. That is voltage across a resistor. That is, if you transmit or send a current across a resistor or the voltage V of T is a basically a function of the current input I of T. It does not depend on the previous current values or previous values of the current. So, this is a memoryless system. Now, let us look at examples of mem systems with memory. Systems with memory. is the current input I of T. The first example for systems with memory is a capacitor. There is a voltage source or a, or a current source which produces current I of T and then it goes through a capacitor C. Then the voltage across the capacitor is given by 1 by C integral from minus infinity to T I of tau D tau. That is the voltage stored across the capacitor or in a capacitor depends on the current from minus infinity to the current instant. That is the, it depends on the values of the electric current from minus infinity to current instant. So, this is a system with memory. That is, it depends on not only on the current, the current value of the electric current, but also on the previous values. Another example is a, another example of a system with memory is the one which deals with delayed inputs. That is, systems with delayed inputs. That is the current output y of t is a function of x of t minus tau. So, the current output is a function of the previous inputs in, or in this case the input from a specific time t minus tau. Another example is a system known as integrator. That is integrator. 
that is it adds all the values of the input from minus infinity to the current value that is x x of k that is the system adds all the values of the input from minus infinity up to the current value n if you compare this system with the capacitor capacitor can be seen as an integrator of the electric current and this is a general system model for a integrator another possible example for a system with memory is is a feedback system that is when the system has the following transformation h of x of t plus g of y of t minus tau that is the current output is not only a function of the current input but it is also a function of the transformed version of the previous outputs so this is also a system with memory it is a feedback system so the basic difference between systems with memory and without memory is that the systems with memory the in the systems with memory the output depends not only on the current input but also on the previous inputs or at least some of the previous inputs for the systems without memory the output is only a function of or a transformation of the current input thanks for watching